This video is going to cover the topic of the circumference of circles. Be sure the date and topic are at the top of your page. The essential question for this video is how can we measure the distance around a circle? At times, we need to be able to know the distance around a circle. This is called the circumference. Circumference is analogous to perimeter. Whereas perimeter is for measuring polygons, circumference is for measuring the distance around circles. To find the circumference, we need one of two pieces of information from our circle. We need either the diameter or the radius. The diameter is the distance across a circle. The diameter must go through the middle of a circle. So in a circle, the diameter, if the middle is here, could go across the middle, right? The diameter could also go this way, across the middle. The diameter cannot go from here to here, right? If it does not cross the middle, that does not count as the diameter. The radius, on the other hand, is half of the diameter. It is the distance from the center of a circle to the edge. So if it's the center of a circle here, this here would be the radius. And it can go in any direction, so that is also the radius here. By definition, the diameter is 2 times the radius. Once you have all that information, you can easily calculate the circumference. As we saw with our work in circles in class, the diameter of a circle, the length of that diameter, can actually stretch and wrap around the outside of a circle a little more than three times. It's actually really close to three and fourteen hundredths times. And in fact, we would call it pi times to be exact. So the circumference can be found by using one of two formulas. You could take your diameter and multiply it by pi, and that will tell you the length it would take to go all the way around your circle. Or, since diameter is just two radiuses, you could multiply that by pi instead. And typically, actually, what we see here is that this is written as two pi r. They mean the same thing, right, because multiplication is commutative. It's just um, more standard, more customary to see it written as 2 pi r. But this will all get you to the same place. So just to show you what that would look like, we'll just do a few examples together by finding the circumference of a few circles. So here we have a circle and the diameter is labeled as 5 centimeters. We're going to use that to calculate the distance around. The diameter of 5 centimeters goes around the circle a little more than three times, so all we need to do is multiply 5, right, which is our diameter, by that number a little bit more than 3, and we're actually going to use 3.14 to represent our pi. So we're going to say that our circumference is our diameter times pi, but our circumference is 5, so we're just going to write 5 where the d was. We're going to multiply that by our 3 and 14 hundredths to represent pi. And of course, if I actually multiply that out, I'll find out that my answer is 15 and 70 hundredths, or 15 and 7 tenths, and that is centimeters. So it would take 15, almost 16 centimeters, to go the distance around the outside of the circle. Here's another. So in this example, we actually know the radius. We just know the distance of half of the distance across the middle. Right? So in this situation, we're going to find our circumference by using the formula that includes radius. So we have 2 times pi times our radius. And I'll just go ahead and fill in what we know. 2, of course, is always 2. Pi, we're going to use 3.14 to represent pi. And our radius is 6. So now I just have to go through and multiply this together to get my circumference. By multiplying those three numbers together, you can see here I kind of did it in steps, kind of like PEMDAS, right, just snow coning my way down. I find out that the circumference of this particular circle would be 37 and 68 hundredths centimeters. In our last example, actually, we know something a little different. This time we know the circumference, and, I, and with that information it will be up to us to figure out what the diameter is. So in, set, in essence, we have to backtrack or work backwards to find the diameter. 
So we know, of course, that circumference is the diameter times pi, but we don't know our diameter. We do know that our circumference is 25 and 12 hundredths of an inch. We don't know our diameter, but we know if we multiply it by 3.14 for pi, we get that answer. So to do this, we're actually going to backtrack. We're going to use division. So we're going to take our circumference and divide it by pi. So you'll have to take your 25 and 12 hundredths and divide it by pi to get your diameter. So if I were to do that calculation, I would get 8, which tells me that the diameter of this circle is 8. And if I was required to find the radius from there, I'd be able to say, oh, it was 8 inches for diameter, so half of that would be 4 inches. That would be the radius. So this video, the essential question, was to figure out how we could measure the distance around the circle. We see that we'll need one of two pieces of information. We'll either need the radius or the diameter, and we'll use that with the combination of pi to be able to figure out the circumference. We also saw just in that quick last example that we can use the same algorithm or formula and work backwards if we know the distance around a circle to find the diameter or the radius.